Okay people, this is himself, and in this video I'm going to show you the secret to landing all of Nina's multi throws. I'll also tell you the breaks for each one, and show you how to get a death combo off one particular chain. And if that sounds ridiculous, it's because it is. So keep watching till the end. Now if this is your first time here, and you want to see more advanced techniques in Tekken, then hit that subscribe button. You'll gain easy access to all my content, and if you click on the bell next to it, you'll also be notified every time I upload something new. But let's get back to our main subject, multi throws. Nina's had these for a long time, and while you don't see many players using them, they can be useful in opening up a turtling opponent. Some of the inputs look tricky, but there is a way to simplify them using what I call the mash technique, and King players will be familiar with this. Let's start off with the simplest multi throw, and that is lift toss 2 plus 4. After, the, after you land the throw, you can input 1 2 1, which gives the shoulder buster, and then 2 1 3, which gives the arm lock. What this does is it adds on 7 points of damage, giving it a total of 42. While the toss is a 2 break, the follow ups are unbreakable, so it's definitely a good idea to try them. The way to simplify the input is to hit 1, 2, 3, and 4 together repeatedly as if you were mashing out a key charge. If you're on pad, then you should have extra buttons that you can program to do that. If you're on stick, then you might be able to do the same thing if you have extra face buttons. What the mash technique does is it tricks the computer into thinking you've input the command it's looking for. But when you have multiple follow-ups, you'll always get the same chain. So what you need to be able to do is to guide the computer down a chain of your choosing to keep your opponent guessing the break. And that's what we're going to look at next. The first big chain I'm going to simplify for you is Palm Strike. This is done by quarter circle forward 1 plus 2 and is a 2 break. From here, if you mash, you'll get the standing arm lock and then falcon wing stretch. This is a total of 58 damage and both throws are 1 breaks. To mix up the falcon wing, you can do falling arm lock. This is a 2 break and still gives you a total of 58 damage. The command is 2 1 3 4 1 plus 2 but the simplified input after standing arm lock is 2 and then mash. What the 2 does is it guides the computer towards this throw and because you're ending both this and falcon wing with the mash it can confuse an opponent who's looking at your hands especially if they've missed the 2 input. But after palm strike you also have 2 other options to provide a mix up against the standing arm lock. The first is the gate latch arm bar. This is a total of 45 damage and is the only multi throw that she has that is broken with 1 plus 2. All the others are either a 1 break or a 2 break. The command for this is 3, 4, 3, 1 plus 2. And although I couldn't find a simplification, I don't think that, that it's that complicated to input either. The third option is double snap, which is a 2 break. The command is 2, 3, 4, 2, 2 but the simplified way is 2, 3, then mash. If you continue mashing afterwards, you'll go directly into net crusher. This is a 1 break and gives a total of 65 damage. But if you want to do max damage, then you'll want to go for gale tech stretch. This is a 2 break and gives a total of 70 damage. The command is 1, 2, 4, 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, but the simplification is 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, then mash. The important step here is to input the command after the knee during double snap. If you go too soon, then it won't work. What you can also do is if you have an extra button, is to program it to do 1 plus 2. That way, all you need to do is something like L1, L1, R2, R2, R2. The next chain is Betrayer Quarter Circle Back 1 plus 4. This is 15 damage and actually has no break. If you mash after it, you'll get standing arm lock and can then go for falcon wings or falling arm lock. This is the same as what you'd get after Palm Strike Quarter Circle 1 plus 2. Seeing as I already discussed that, there's no need for me to repeat myself. The mix up for standing arm lock is Twisted Nightmare. This is a 2 break and the command is 2 1 1 plus 2 and then 1 plus 2 plus 3. The simplification is 2 and then mash. If you land the throw, then you can go for either Net Crusher or Gale Tech Stretch. These are the same options as you'd get after Double Snap following Palm Strike. But seeing as I've already discussed those as well, there's no need to repeat myself. The next chain is Crab Claw, Quarter Circle 4, 3 plus 4. This is a 1 break and does 15 damage, just like Palm Strike. But if a Nina player does a Quarter Circle 4 throw on me, I'm instantly hitting 2. This is because I'm assuming they're going for the Palm Strike. The reason behind, it, behind this is that the window for entering the follow-ups after Crab Claw is small in comparison. 
Nina has to enter the command before she lands on the floor, and because of that, I think that people are more inclined to go for the Palm Strike. If, however, you are a Nina player and you do land Crab Claw, mashing afterwards will give you the Commando Arm Lock. This is a 1 break and does 50 damage. The alternative is to go for the Heal Hold, which is a 2 break. The command for this is 3 plus 4, 4, 2, 1 plus 2. And sadly, I couldn't find a simplification for this. If you land it, then you have two options. Mashing will give you the knee cross lock. This is a one break and gives a total of 63 damage. The alternative is Achilles tendon lock. This gives 68 damage and is a two break. The command is 1, 3, 2 plus 4, 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2. But the simplification is 1, 3, 2 plus 4, and then mash. Next chain is leaping heel hold. This can be done by up 4, 3 plus 4 or running 3. If you land the throw then the follow ups are knee cross lock and Achilles tendon lock. These are the same options as what you get from a heel hold after crab claw. And seeing as I already discussed those, there's no need to repeat myself. Final chain is spider knee. After any string that ends in spider knee, like while standing 3, 1, 2, 3, DF 1, 2, 3 or 2, 3, you can hit 1 plus 2 to go into double snap. This is a just frame input, similar to King's F plus 3 DDT, but this has no break. From there, the, the follow ups are either Neck Crusher or Gale Tech Stretch. And these are the same options you get after double snap from Palm Strike. And seeing as I already discussed those, there's no need to repeat myself again. Now, at this point, some of you may be wondering where that death combo is. The maximum damage you can get from a chain is 70, and none of the throws break the floor. So, what's the secret? Well, some of you may not be aware that Nina's knees reversal against the left punch goes directly into palm strike. This is providing the punch is not a jumping one, otherwise you get an overhead toss, which is what you're seeing here. Following the palm strike, she can do all her multi throws, but unlike a regular palm strike, she doesn't do 15 damage. Instead, because it's a reversal, the damage she deals is proportional to the attack. And what this means is that when in rage, she can do a death combo on Jack. Jack has the most damaging left punch in the game, so when we apply the reversal and do the multi throws, Nina deals 184 damage. Like I said at the beginning, this is completely ridiculous. A Jack player is never going to do this unblockable, and even if he does, who's going to stand there and wait for it? This is just a bit of fun. And on that note, that brings me to the end of this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, why not check out King's Multi Throws? There's a card in the top right corner, so you can watch that right now. In conclusion, I hope you guys learned something. If you did, then like, share and subscribe. If you think I've missed something out or got something wrong, then say so in the comments. And I'll catch you guys in the future.